Hey guys, welcome back for another video in which we are going to introduce a new range of uh, optical fiber products. So a year ago, we've introduced this uh, Fiber Camera Box 12G, which is a rugged optical fiber enclosure, which allows you to combine two 12G uh, video feeds into a draw channel optical fiber using an optical conduit connector. Now, if you've already used PTZ head, you might have been in this situation where you have to take the video feed from the camera using SDI to maximize image quality, but you also have uh, the motorized head that has to be controlled with a LAN Ethernet cable. So you end up having to run two cables from your switcher to the PTZ head. Well, we've taken this fiber camera box a step further by adding a 1G LAN uh, Ethernet port at the back here. This new product is called the Fiber Camera Box 12G PTZ. In a nutshell, it merges three signals in one optical fiber cable, 12G SDI in, 12G SDI out for return, and LAN Ethernet 1G. For instance, if you plan to use the Micro Studio G2 as a PTZ camera, this converter can come in super handy, since you will just have to run a long distance fiber cable from the control room to this converter, which then includes the SDI in from the camera to the converter, the SDI out that comes from the ATEM for camera control, color correction, tally, and timecode, and network connectivity here uh, if you also want to control PTZ head like this DJI gimbal with the APCR or any other IP based PTZ head. The unit features a standard VLOC plate to mount on a tripod and it accepts 12 volt power so you could either use main source power or a battery. Like the standard camera box, it supports multiple types of fiber from standard LC to optical con duo and converting all your signals to fiber offers several benefits such as hassle-free long distance connections and immunity to radio interference and power lines. The unit that connects to the camera is called the slave unit and at the control room on the other end you use a master unit which has the same body and design but just different internals. It's important to note that you cannot use a slave with a slave and a master with a master. A master has to be used with a slave and vice versa. If you plan to use this unit for different cameras, we also developed a larger master unit called the Dispatch 412G PTZ, which supports up to four slave units within a single one u rack enclosure. Important to note though, the PTZ range fiber product are not compatible with our other fiber products. So for example, you cannot use a Dispatch 5 with the Camera Box 12G PTZ. And to finish with, we've also released the Fiber Unite 10 12G converter, which allows you to merge 20 12G SDI signals, 10 inputs and 10 outputs, plus a 1G LAN connection into a single MTP12 optical fiber. This device will provide you with a super stable long distance link with no latency and it's ideal for connecting all your cameras from truck to field or from control room to stage depending on your event. It's kind of the big brother of uh, the Fiber Unite 512G that was released a year ago um, that has uh, five SDI inputs and five outputs plus a LAN uh, Ethernet port and uh, the same MTP12 connection. However, although the Fiber Unite 5 and Fiber Unite 10 share the same MTP12 fiber cable, they are not compatible. So you can only use a Fiber Unite 5 with another device like this or a Fiber Unite 10 with a Fiber Unite 10. This is it for the presentation. We have more products and reviews of other brands coming up. So stay tuned to the Middle Things channel. See you soon.